Hey, I I just woke up. It's like 544 in the morning and I'm gonna try to film this video before I get to work. So sorry if I look a little frazzled. I just threw on a shirt to film the video because I don't know if I'll get demonetized if I don't. And here we go. <laughs> Basically, um, as I was you know, doing my business this morning, I noticed some things on my phone, including some Billy Billy sites here, two of them actually with full 3070 Ti reviews. Benchmarks, gaming, mining, uh, synthetic performance, all of it, it's all here. And given that I don't speak Chinese, uh, I, I went ahead and tried to find us some, um, um, sorry, I should, should have these muted. Like I said, I'm trying to film this before work. This is probably gonna be a little rough on the video quality here, guys. I, I should probably also shrink myself down a little bit out of the way. Here's my cam link and away I go. Look, my microphone's showing. Oh, I'm bringing you timely news, guys. Sorry if it's a little rough. Anyway, so as you can see, they've got some full, uh, full reviews running through here, all sorts of games. And I don't want to waste your time. We've got two of them here. Links to them will be in the description. This one is, um, uh, uh, yeah, this guy. Uh, <laughs> I don't speak Chinese. We got this other guy who's wearing this cool hat. Or, sorry, hat, mask. Jeez, guys, I told you I just woke up. Anyway, uh, so if you happen to, I'll mute that again. If you happen to speak Chinese, they do have the GPs use these shots showing that, you know, they've got the card they claim they have, running a whole bunch of different tests. I was gonna throw here, go through and like screenshot everything and try to compare it, but then I realized I don't have time and somebody else has probably reported on this already. So thankfully I found the uh, folks over here at Video Cards did at least through one, go through one of those videos. Um, although it looks like um, they were in the middle of a write up while um, the second video, the guy with the dog hat over here. Um, I keep saying hat, now my phone just fell out of my pocket. Man, guys, I promise my videos are usually a little more put together than this, but like I said, gotta get to work in a few seconds, so let's go. <laughs> anyway, um, they've at least analyzed uh, one of these uh, videos, um, and let's just take a look at some of the summarized results. If you're thinking about the mining hash rates, these cards were limited. Um, by the way, these are not the Founders Edition models. These are um, AIB Partner models. The Founder Edition models, I think getting your hand, hands on those without a non-disclosure agreement is a lot tougher. Anyway, um, so we've got uh, the fact that the uh, cards start at 78 ma mega hashes per second and drop down to 45 shortly. That's a significant limit, meaning that these will not be great value cards for mining unless these things get cracked. Will they get cracked? They haven't yet. I mean, nobody can say for sure. The other issue with mining hash limiters is just that, I mean, there could be other cryptos that aren't limited by this particular limiter that could end up driving up in value and then, you know, it could all go out the window anyway. But at least for now, uh, <laughs> these are limiting the main like Ethereum uh, mining and it does seem to be effective enough for these not to be great cards for mining, which is a good thing in my opinion, since I'm looking at this from a gaming perspective. All right. As far as some screenshots go, um, I'm gonna flip through some of these kind of quickly. These are looking like some 3D Mark shots. You can pause my video. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of time. I will also link the article in the description. Here's some more uh, screenshots from the 3D Mark results. Again, just pause my video. I don't have time to analyze all of this for you because I got some math to teach. This is finals week, you know. Ooh, big deal for my students. I'm actually having them build uh, castles in geometry class, then like do some volume and surface area stuff. Anyway. <laughs> All right. GTA 5, we got some Borderlands 3. So we're seeing it here compared to the 3070 and the 3080, which is exactly what I'd like to see it uh, compared with since those are the main uh, competitors from the price perspective. There's some of your GPU Z shots and shot of the chips. Okay, let's go ahead and summarize some of the results. So what you're probably looking for is how does this thing compare to a uh, 3080. So they have a 3080, not a TI version of the 3080. 
Um, which is fine because the TI version, man, that thing is so expensive. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so the 3080 appears to be 18% faster than the 3070 Ti, and that's in synthetic benchmarks. In gaming, it's an even bigger lead for the 3080. It's a 22% in gaming performance, and the 3070 non-Ti is uh, losing at around 9.4% in benchmarks and 7.3% in gaming. Okay, so now let me give you some of my thoughts here on this card. So for one thing, I mean, I like that at least compared to the 3080 Ti, we're not seeing the ridiculous hundreds and hundreds of dollars jump compared to the non-Ti version. However, you know, the 3070 Ti is $100 more. Again, this is pretending MSRPs mean anything right now, but it is $100 more than the non-Ti. And I mean, it's a 7.3% gaming performance gain, okay? So if you gain 7.3% in, uh, in your gaming performance for 100 bucks, I mean, okay? It, it splits the difference in price between a 3070 and a 3080, right? It splits that exact difference on the MSRP. But it's not splitting the difference in terms of performance. It's clearly much closer to the 3070 non-TI than it is to a 3080. However, let's see how many 3080s we see now that they can sell 3080 Ti's with those chips, you know, <laughs> if the chips produce good enough, uh, you know, good enough results. So I don't know, guys, is this thing the greatest deal of the century? Probably not. There's the results that you've got. This article summarized a lot of them. We could pop over and try to take a quick look at through some of this video. Like I said, I'm a, uh, this is the video that the video cards article did not summarize. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda skim through a few results here, see if we can find any, um, okay, like uh, we can see some Port Royal, Time Spy, you can see uh, some results getting compared. So this one is also up against, it looks like the 3070 uh, uh, and the 3080. And this looks like we're seeing similar results from this reviewer as well. Again, I'm just gonna skim through a bit here so you guys can have uh, just a bit of this. But it does appear to just be getting fairly similar results from everything I've seen to um, what we saw from the other reviewer. All right, guys, links to everything are in the description. I am so sorry for the frazzled and uh, incoherent ramblings uh, from me before 6 a.m. I have not had my coffee. I am not really awake, but I wanted to bring you this info while it's still relevant. I read all the comments, so I'm interested in what you guys have to say. Reply to as many as I can. My subscribers, thank you. You're beautiful people, and I hope you all have an excellent day.